really, this presentation, the very controversial Google Slides presentation, it's been being taught for years. How could the people in charge here have not known about this? And how could they not have been so transparent, you know? Like, it's, it was, it was a problem, it's an issue that our school was enforcing ideologies with, with an iron fist, not even a, like, rather than a gentle hand. Yeah, I, I love this next story. Uh, that was Yale University freshman Sahar Tartak, who pushed back against her Long Island High School in Great Neck. When she was a senior, she was the treasurer there, and the school wanted her to allocate almost $400 so a racial equity group could visit her school and talk to the student body about systemic racism, but she refused to sign the check. Yeah, and she also wrote about her experience in the Wall Street Journal, and she's joining us this morning here on Wake Up America. Sahar, so good to see you. Good morning. Um, first, I do, I'm a mom of three girls, and I want to point out, first of all, that you are a role model, first of all, for speaking out. I, I mean, I know how difficult it is being somebody of a young age to speak out. You're nervous what people are going to say. Um, talk to us briefly about what was happening at your high school that sparked this whole situation. Sure, and thank you so much for having me on this morning. So at my high school, I was in student government, and as a consequence of that, we had student funds, and specifically I was treasurer, so the opportunity to disperse those funds, and my high school pushed for the student government to fund a racial equity group to speak to the school about systemic racism, and I'm quoting this because that's literally like the only information I was given. And then without even stating opposition to the cause, because I can't state opposition to a cause that I don't know what it will be. I asked for more information and instead was berated by the adults in charge under the instruction of the school administration. And then I shared this story at my high school, excuse me, at my public school district's board of education meeting following another controversy surrounding school curricula. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. With inflation at its highest level in 40 years and interest rates skyrocketing, your retirement plans are in danger. Well, our friends at American Hartford Gold can help show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Yeah. If you call them right now, they have a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order. So don't wait. Call now. Here's the number. 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309 or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532. Basically, all you wanted was more information about this organization that was going to be paid a good chunk of change to come speak to the student body at Great Neck, um, a really racially diverse uh, school district and, and that high school is known for that in particular. What ended up happening? Sure. So I didn't sign off on the check myself. And at the meeting that I mentioned earlier, basically I experienced a lot of bullying at the hands of teachers who made various accusations, really just defaming me, which is threatening and is aimed at making me sign off on that check. Questions like, Sahar, I don't get it. Do you think slavery is debatable? Or Sahar, would you oppose a Holocaust survivor coming to the school? But still, I refused to sign off because I actually felt, felt like, like a proper representative of a constituency should do. I needed to research more before I gave away student funds. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I wish it. you were in Washington. I right was going to say, I think yeah. you should maybe think about politics mm. <laughs> because you'd be Thank great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sahar, so Great Neck Schools, they're among the top in New York State. Was it surprising to you that this subject matter was being taught in your high school? And were you, were you the only one feeling uncomfortable about this? Hmm. I have to say that it seems to shock everybody when they come across this. But no, I definitely wasn't the only student or, or person in the community who found this discomforting. As a matter of fact, when a presentation that a teacher was teaching was circulated among parents, and this was like another presentation with just really controversial claims, such as America is as racist today as it was 200 years ago, and a lot about white fragility, and how every white person has some responsibility for racism, just controversial claims. And this presentation also ended in a pledge, so it wasn't like these were opinions being presented, like these were presented as fact. Um, I Parents like discovered this and showed up to the next Board of Education meeting very heated. And my peers also weren't happy with these basic 
exactly these oppressive tendencies. I have a friend who was called in to the principal's office for refusing to sign an anti-hate pledge. Yeah. But at the same time, I come from a student body that's diverse and largely children of immigrants who escaped persecution. So maybe we ought, you know, look at the wisdom of our of our parents before we pledge against the country that opened its arms to us. I think yeah. America, Sahar, is the ultimate racial success story. Right. Uh, I think the exact opposite. You look at the history of this country, um, it is not perfect, uh, but this is a success story. No other country on the planet is like this. And I always say, if you look at our Olympic team compared to other countries' Olympic team, look at the Chinese Olympic team, they're all Chinese. Look at an American Olympic team. Um, it is people of all different ethnic backgrounds, all different colors, shapes, yeah. sizes. Um, just a quick question. You're a freshman at one of the best universities in the country right now, maybe in the world, Yale. Are you seeing any of this there? Okay, so a disclaimer, I've only been here for two months. Okay. However, I will say that the students around me in general and people in general, like individually, are tolerant. Um, what the, the, the biggest concern that I hear actually is like from professors who I think self-censor more often because they're worried about, um, basically at this point, they're worried about their jobs, right. which is really problematic. At the same time, there are also like organizations fighting this um, oppressive culture that want everybody to say their piece. One of them that helped me in my process at my high school, because like, please don't do this alone, was the Foundation Against Intolerance yeah. and Racism. Right. Sahar, uh, Tartek, we appreciate everything you're doing. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, we're running out of time, but thank you for speaking Great up. Story, I think more Sahar. people need to learn from you and speak up if they don't aren't comfortable with what's happening Definitely. in schools. Thank Good you luck. so much. Keep us posted. Thank you so much.